United States of America, the public for which it stands, one nation. Madam Clerk. Yes, Mayor. Board of Commissioners public meeting Tuesday, June 21st, 2016. The time is now 8:23. Pursuant to the requirements of the Open Public Meeting Act, Chapter 231, Public Law 1975, notice of this meeting was published in the December 24th, 2015 issues of the Nutley Sun, the Star Ledger, and the Herald News. A copy of this notice has been posted on the Nutley Town Hall Bulletin Board, and a copy is on file in the Municipal Clerk's Office. Commissioner Rogers? Here. Commissioner Tucci? Here. Commissioner Evans? Here. Commissioner Petraco? Here. Mayor Scarpelli? Here. All present, Mayor. Commissioner Petraco, you have a proclamation tonight? I do, Mayor. Thank you. Um, i just like to give a little... Um, direction of what this campaign is about. I see a lot of our students and Mr. Kelly there. Um, the last eight years that I've been on this board, I've gotten to know everyone in the crowd tonight, and I have to say they're fine, great leaders of our town, young leaders. And of course, we have Mr. Kelly, our dear friend, that really goes above and beyond for the town and all the, of our children. Um, for the last eight years, I know there's been a big campaign about texting and driving. Um, and they've done this on air, and apparently they've made um, some shows of it that I've actually seen on the cable channels. And I have to say, A-plus job by all of you. So I will now read the proclamation. Whereas under the direction of Jim Kelly, the Radio TV 3 initiative and organize, organize the Raiders Ride Safe campaign, and whereas the students collaborated with high school, junior high, and elementary schools, as well as the town government to produce the state award-winning documentary of emphasizing the importance of safe driving. And whereas this documentary was identified among the elite in the pr prestigious Champion Schools program and was named fourth best in the state of student produced media document documentary by the NG Go Brains, Got Brains, excuse me. And whereas the documentary was produced, written and directed by Nutley High School TV3 student senior Erin Neary, Dan Chagnon, Taylor Gincarelli, Rosie um, Critelli, Mike Mashey, Katie Owalski, am I close? How do you say that one? Good job. <laughs> uh, Christine Kelly, Robbie Duxbury, um, Steph Stephanie Pincaro, Rachel D'Antonio, Fahim Chowdhury, Jack Van Schock. Am I close? What is it? Okay. And Dante Vacatoro. Uh, and now, therefore, it be resolved by the Board of Commissioners, Township of Nully, County of Essex, State of New Jersey, that through hard work, dedication, and per perseverance, the Nutley High School Radio TV3 class has been rewarded with the recognition for their efforts in bringing awareness to the extremely important cause of safe driving. They make Nutley proud. So this is a proclamation. We don't need a, a motion to move it, but before I give my commissioners and the mayor a chance to say something, I have to tell you, you guys are a great class. Um, I know graduation is coming up. Um, in a couple days, it's been a privilege for me to sit up here and get to know all of you guys, and these are really good kids and fine young adults, and I hope um, your college years, I know you'll make our town proud. Mr. Kelly, I just can't say enough about somebody that cares as much as you do. Congratulations for a fine job. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. Congratulations on uh, your fourth place finish. This is the beginning of the rest of your lives. Um, You'll all be friends for a long time. I say that, uh, and I'll just let you know, Mr. Kelly and I have been friends for about 50 years. 
We were uh, actually, uh, we don't have those anymore. We were patrols on Jefferson Street and, and Brown Street crossing uh, other students, fifth and sixth grade. Yeah, those two are really old. <laughs> but congratulations again. Mr. Tucci? Yes, I'd just like to congratulate you, and I'd like to congratulate Coach Kelly, as I refer to him, all right, not only for the great leadership, but also for the enlightened information that he brought to you. I mean, you folks put it together and actually won this award statewide coming in fourth place is, is pretty awesome. So congratulations, keep up the good work, and all the best to all of you in your future endeavors. Mr. Evans? Uh, I won't repeat what everyone else is saying. Congratulations and a big woohoo. Commissioner Rogers. Well, congratulations, and I wish you all of God's blessings in the years to come. Thank you. Okay, let's take a picture. I had a lot in July, but after that, I'm home. California. Yes. Uh, earthquake. Uh, uh. Madam Clerk, Bills. Yes, Mayor. Bill lists for Tuesday, June 21st, 2016. Public affairs, $153,417.79. Revenue and finance, $3,288,684.65. Public safety, $52,263.45. Public works, $400,849.22. Parks and Public Property, $150,465.54. Total payroll, $799,768.70. For a grand total of $4,845,449.35. Moved bills. Second. Commissioner Rogers. Aye. Commissioner Tucci. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Petraco. Aye. Mayor Scarpelli. Aye. And that's it for bills. Okay, public comment on agenda items only. Madam Clerk, please read the notice. Yes, Mayor. All persons addressing the Board of Commissioners regarding community concerns should approach the microphone and provide their name and address for the record. Unless further time is granted by the Board, each person shall limit their address to three minutes. All remarks to the board and its individual members must be addressed to the mayor. The mayor may defer citizens' comments to the appropriate member of the board. Dialogue between citizens and others addressing the board shall be allowed unless the mayor or presiding officer or the majority of the membership of the board shall determine that the interest of the quorum and or expeditious conduct of municipal business are being adversely affected by such dialogue. Anybody want to be heard on agenda items only? Seeing none, we'll close the uh, public comment on the <laughs> items. Any uh, commissioner announcements? 
Just one, if I might, Mary. I'd just like to thank everyone for supporting uh, the Franklin Spring Festival. It was another successful evening. I think everyone had a good time. There were no incidents. There was a lot of fun. We had a great mix. We had a lot of children. We had a lot of adults. We had a lot of our young adults. It was just a fabulous time, and I'd just like to thank everyone for attending and all the commissioners for contributing. Great job. Great. Thank you. If, if I might just add one thing to that, Mayor, too, I would really like to thank all the town workers, and I would like to congratulate you, Commissioner Tucci. In the beginning, when we first walked through, it didn't start off too good, but it's your finished um, well and strong, and I think it was really great for the businesses. But I would be remiss not to thank all the police officers that were there, especially um, what a presence we made there, and I think that's a big compliment of what we do here every day. And, to say to have a crowd that size and not one instance that we have. So, and, and, and thank Mayor, you. if I might, their presence was in fact felt uh, every, wherever you looked. You had an officer, you had the rescue squad, you had parks workers, you had town workers just out, out all over the place, and it, it, it went a long way for the success of the night. And thank you, Commissioner, for your help. Very welcome. All right, ordinance introductions. Uh, in order, this is ordinance number 3341. In ordinance of the Board of Commissioners of the Township of Nutley in the County of Essex adopting the Hoffman LaRoche redevelopment plan for phase one. I move that this ordinance be passed to a second reading advertised in the Nutley Sun, together with the notice required by law and that further consideration of said ordinance for final passage by the Board of Commissioners be held at its second reading on July 19, 2016. Move the uh, ordinance. Second. Commissioner Rogers? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Commissioner Petraco? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli. Aye. Commissioner Rogers doesn't have any resolutions, so Commissioner Tucci. Yes. Whereas the Township of Nutley entered into a contract with Grove Contracting, 70 Bar Circle, Verona, New Jersey, and whereas the General Supervisor of the Department of Parks and Public Property has recommended the following change order from said contract. And this is change order number one, services in the amount of $11,900. Money is available from Capital Ordinance 3323K and has been certified by the Chief Financial Officer said certification being attached to this resolution. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Board of Commissioners of the Township of Nutley County of Essex State of New Jersey that change order one for 11,900 B and is hereby approved. And this is for the improvements to the Parks Department building of 44 Park Avenue. I move the resolution. Second. Commissioner Rogers? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Commissioner Petraco? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. Mayor Evans? Whereas there exists a need to, for a state approved electronic tax sales system and whereas the maximum amount of the contract is $5,000. Whereas NJSA 545191-C uh, provides that a contract with the state approved vendor may be awarded by informal quotation and without public bid, the contract itself will be available for public inspection. Now, therefore, be resolved by the Board of Commissioners of the Township of Nellie County of Essex, Essex State of New Jersey. Mayor and the clerk are hereby authorized and directed to execute an agreement with uh, <coughs> ROK Industries, DBA, U.S., uh, excuse me, New Jersey Tax Lien Investors dot com uh, for the services of electronic tax lien system for a total amount not to exceed five thousand dollars in accordance with the proposal dated August 18, 2015. This contract is awarded without competitive bidding as authorized by NJSA 5451.1. C. Notice of this action shall be printed once in Nutley Sun, uh, the legal newspaper of the Township of Nutley. So move. Second. Commissioner Rogers? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Commissioner Petraco? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. Whereas NJSA 545191 authorizes electronic sales uh, pursuant to the rules and regulations to be promulgated by the Director of the Division of Local Governmental Services, whereas the Director of the Division is, has promulgated rules and regulations for pilot programs, uh, whereas the Director has approved New Jersey Tax Lien Investors uh, Real Auction com to conduct pilot programs, whereas the rules and regulations authorize municipalities to submit an application for participation in the pilot for electronic tax sale, whereas an tax, electronic tax sale is innovative and provides a greater pool of potential lien buyers, thus creating an environment for more uh, complete tax sale process, whereas the township wishes to participate in the pilot program. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Board of Commissioners Township of Nelly County of Essex 
The tax collector is hereby authorized to complete an application to participate in the electronic tax sale program and submit same to the director. So move. Second. Commissioner Rogers. Aye. Commissioner Tucci. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Petraco. Aye. Mayor Scarpelli. Aye. Whereas NJSA 40A54 requires the governing body of every local unit to have made an annual audit of the books and accounts and financial transactions, whereas the report of the audit for 2015 has been filed by a registered municipal accountant with the municipal clerk pursuant to NJSA 48 colon 56, and a copy has been re received by each member of the governing body. Whereas RS 5227BB34 authorizes uh, the local finance board of the state of New Jersey to prescribe reporting uh, reports pertaining to uh, local fiscal affairs, and whereas the local finance board has had its promulgated NJAC 536.5, a regulation requiring that the governing body of each municipality shall by resolution certify to the local finance board of the state of New Jersey that all members of the governing body have received as a minimum sections of the annual report entitled general comments and recommendation whereas the members of the governing body have personally reviewed as a minimum the annual report especially uh, specifically sections of the annual report entitled general comments and rec recommendations as evidenced by the group affidavit form of the governing body attached uh, here too. Whereas each resolution of certification shall be adopted by the governing body no later than 45 days after the receipt of the annual report, whereas all members of the governing body have received and familiarized themselves with at least the minimum requirements of the local finance board of the state of New Jersey, whereas failure to comply with the promulgated rules may subject members of the governing body to penalty uh, provisions. Now therefore be resolved that the Board of Commissioners of the Township only hereby states that it has compiled, uh, complied with NJAC 530, 6.5, and does hereby submit a certified copy of this resolution and the required affidavit to the said board to show evidence of said compliance. So move. Second. <clears throat> Commissioner Rogers? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Commissioner Petraco? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. Whereas the Township of Nully has a need to retain the services of an attorney who specializes in municipal land use law and policy to provide legal advice and services to the Code Enforcement Department in connection with Township Land Use Policies, Procedures, and Redevelopment Plans, whereas NJSA uh, 40A 11.51A1AI uh, permits the award of a contract without a public bidding, whereas Angelo Cefeli, uh, Pyro Zinn, Cefeli Paris, Jenna Tempo, uh, 360 Passaic Avenue has submitted a proposal in the amount of not to exceed $15,000, whereas funds are available from account 601-226205 and will be certified by the chief uh, uh, financial, and have been certified, have been certified. Uh, we have to correct that line, just but it has been certified by the chief uh, financial officer, her certification, which is attached to this resolution. Whereas the term of this contract is effective July 1, uh, 16 through December 31st, 16. Now, there, now, therefore, be resolved by the Board of Commissioners of the Township of Nutley that the mayor is, uh, be in here, is hereby authorized to enter into a contract with Angelo Cerfelli um, as a professional service. Be it further resolved that a copy of this resolution, as well as the contract, shall be placed in a file with the clerk of the township and notice in accordance with the local public laws in the form attached to her shall be published in Nutley Sons. Second. Commissioner Rogers? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Commissioner Petraco? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli. Aye. Mr. Petraco. Whereas Christina Rivera has submitted an application to become a volunteer firefighter in Township and Nutley, whereas this application has been accepted by the chief and deputy chief and now therefore be resolved by the Board of Commissioners of the Township and Nutley County Vest State of New Jersey that Christine that Christina Rivera will become a recruit with the fire department effective immediately be further resolved that Christina Rivera will have 18 months to successfully complete all requirements set forth by the chief and the deputy chief in order to be assigned the rank of volunteer firefighter in Nutley Fire Department. I move a resolution. Second. Commissioner Rogers? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Commissioner Petraco? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. This is the same um, exact um, resolution council with just a different name for a volunteer. So I'll just read the um, name. It's um, resolution number 
171-16. Um, it is Haley Miola. Um, I move the resolution. Second. Commissioner Rogers? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Commissioner Petraco? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. Whereas NJSA 48-487 provides that the director of public director of, of the Division of Local Government Services may approve the insertion of any special item in the budget of any county or municipality when such item shall have been made available by law and the amount thereof was not determined at the time of the adoption of the budget. Whereas said director may also approve this insertion of any item appropriation for equal amount. Section 1 now therefore be resolved by the Board of Commissioners Township and Nully County Vessel State of New Jersey hereby request that the Director of Division of local, local Government Services to approve the insertion of an item of revenue in the budget of the year 2016 in the sum of $5,000, which item is now available as a revenue from local law enforcement block grant pursuant provision statute. And Section 2 be further resolved that a like sum of $5,000 be and the same is hereby appropriate under the caption of general appropriations. Appropriations excluded from 5% caps. It is our click it or ticket grant. Police salaries and wages, $5,000. Section 3 be further resolved that the above is the result of revenues available from the click it or ticket grant program. Be further resolved that the township clerk forward two certified copies of this resolution to the Director of Local Government Services. I move the resolution. Second. Commissioner Rogers. Aye. Commissioner Tucci. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Commissioner Petraco. Aye. Mayor Scarpelli. Aye. That's all I have. Be resolved by the Board of Commissioners Township of Nutley County of Essex State of New Jersey that Joseph P. Scarpelli and Kathy Repaschewski be appointed as representatives of the Community Development Block Grant Committee for the term of May 17th. 2016 through December 31st, 2016. And move the resolution. Second. Commissioner Rogers. Aye. Commissioner Tucci. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Commissioner Petraco. Aye. Mayor Scarpelli. Aye. Whereas the New Jersey Department of Treasury Division of Taxation has provided tax clearance certificates for each establishment listed below for the renewal period. And whereas these establishments have been inspected by the Board of Health, Fire Department, Code Enforcement Department, and Police Department of the Township of Nutley are in satisfactory condition. Now, therefore, it be resolved by the Board of Commissioners of the Township of Nutley County of Essex State, New Jersey, that the renewal of plenary retail consumption licenses, plenary retail distributed licenses, and club licenses be granted to the following licenses effective July 1, 2016, June 30, 2017. Be further resolved that the municipal clerk, B and she, is hereby directed and authorized to issue said licenses for the licensing period of July 1, 2016, through July June 30, 2017 for the uh, establishments listed below. I move the resolution. Second. Commissioner Rogers. Aye. Commissioner Tucci. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Petraco. Aye. Mayor Scarpelli. Aye. Whereas bids for the 2016 various roadway improvements were received and opened on Wednesday, June 15, 2016. And whereas AJM Contractors, 300 Color Road, Clifton, New Jersey was a low bidder. And whereas the base bid for the 2016 various roadway improvements was in the amount of 400 $462,197.83. Bid number one in the amount of $52,834.52. Alternate bid number two in the amount of $63,015.52. Alternate bid number three in the amount of $110,183.92. And bid number four in the amount of $45,598.16. For a total bid of $733,829.95. Whereas the funds are available from ordinance number 3321A in the amount of $695,707.39 and ordinance number 3295A in the amount of $38,122.56 and have been certified by the Chief Financial Officer. That certification be attached to this resolution. Now therefore be resolved by the Board of Commissioner Township of Nutley County of Essex, State of New Jersey that a contract be awarded to AJM Contractors, 300 Color Road, Clifton, New Jersey, not to exceed $733,829.95, and the mayor and township clerk are hereby authorized to enter into a contract for the township of Nutley and move the resolution. Second. Commissioner Rogers? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Petraco? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. Whereas bids for the Harrison Street Improvement Project, Section 1, were received and opened on Wednesday, June 8, 2016. 
and whereas Cefeli and Son General Contracting, 81 Franklin Avenue, Nutley, New Jersey, was a low bidder. Whereas the base bid for the Harrison Street Improvement Project, Section 1, is in the amount of $336,626.70, and alternate bid number 1 in the amount of $30,101.90 for a total bid amount of $366,728.60. Whereas funds are available from ordinance number 3340 in the amount of $245,000 from monies received by a grant from the New Jersey Department of Transportation Local Aid Municipal Grant Account number 6018062200 in the amount of $55,000. Ordinance number 3243A in the amount of $6,707.10 and ordinance number 3295A in the amount of $60,021.50 subject to this caveat and have been certified by the Chief Financial Officer, said certification being attached to this resolution. Now, therefore, it be resolved by the Board of Commissioners of Township of Nutley County of Essex State, New Jersey, that a contract be awarded to Cefeli and Son General Contracting not to exceed $366,728.60, and that the Mayor and Township Clerk are hereby authorized to enter into and sign said contract for the Township of Nutley and move the resolution. Commissioner Rogers? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Commissioner Petraco? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. That concludes the business portion of our meeting. Now open it up to the public. Madam Clerk? Yes, Mayor. All persons addressing the Board of Commissioners regarding community con concern should approach the microphone and provide their name and address for the record. Unless further time is granted by the Board, each person shall limit their address to five minutes. All remarks to the Board and its individual members must be addressed to the Mayor. The Mayor may defer citizens' comments to the appropriate member of the Board. Dialogue between citizens and others addressing the Board shall be allowed unless the Mayor or presiding officer or the majority of the membership of the Board shall determine that the interests of decorum and or the expeditious conduct of municipal business are being adversely affected by such dialogue. Would anybody like to address the Board of Commissioners this evening? Move to adjourn. Oh, oh, we have Mr. Palmer. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Good evening. Uh, first of all, and, uh, oh, sorry, Gregory Palmer, 119 Church Street. I apologize for my attire. I normally wouldn't address the board dressed like this. I got tied up helping my mother with something. First of all, congratulations to all of you on your re-election. Um, I'm not here to uh, pin anyone down. It's just what I'm here for. It's easier to address everyone at once, being I think the issue involves different departments. And I... And I'll just give a brief summary and get to my point. Now, I'm here on the what's known as the Clover Street property, also known as the Austin Project. As everyone is aware where the property is, when the property initially went up for sale, um, there was various prospective buyers there viewing. My parents lived my, uh, right next to it. And my father would go outside and he would hear them speaking talk of townhouses, condos, apartments. So I circulated a petition amongst the neighbors, planning and zoning board, asking them to adhere to the 50 by 100 lot size, one family houses. And things were in the works with it being for sale. Somebody from the Nutley Community Preservation Partnership at one of the meetings suggested it be made into a pocket park such as that at the Nutley Museum. I like the idea, but I'm one person. I surveyed the neighborhood surrounding that property. Overwhelmingly, everyone was in favor of a park. The town leaders at the time were not, so that didn't happen, even though the county exec said he would provide the funding for it. So then there was a prospective buyer who wanted to knock down the old farmhouse on Prospect Street, replace that with a new one, and on the property, which was the farm, one side was a field, the other side had chicken coops, shed buildings. There was dozens and dozens of trees, big mature ones. And he wanted to put a cul-de-sac with six houses. The planning board at the meeting didn't seem too favorable about it. The attorney asked for an adjournment, said he was gonna come back with the reduced plan, came back with five houses. Finally went to a vote with a bunch of variances. Myself and the neighbors were all opposed to it. There was no breathing room. One neighbor on Prospect Street would have had a 32-foot house six feet from his backyard fence. 
So the planning board voted, and I didn't look through my records for this. I think this was back in 06. Voted, and it was a tied vote, which meant the project didn't prove, didn't pass. I believe that was August of 06. November, they allowed a revote, and it passed unanimously. There was no changes to the plan, no explanation for the revote. Myself and the neighbors hired a land use attorney, reviewed everything, said he couldn't believe what he was seeing. We went to court, and the judge ruled that the revote was improper. The original vote stood. The project wasn't approved. Now, this was all pending. Uh, the sale was pending planning board approval. In the middle of all of this, the day before our tree preservation ordinance took place, the seller gave the builder permission to clear cut the property. One tree, my father stopped counting at 140 rings that was on the property. That developer ended up walking away. About two years ago, maybe, the property was sold to a new developer, comes back with plans for five houses again on a cul-de-sac, basically the same as the other plan. Myself and the neighbors hired the planning board, uh, the uh, land use attorney. We came to the meeting. Mr. DiBiase represented the new developer. He was kind enough to meet with us asked would we object if they reduced it to four houses. We said, theoretically, no, we'd like to see the plans. Again, they were kind enough and good enough to go over the plans with us once they were drawn up at Mr. DiBiase's office, and none of us had an objection to it. We then came to the planning board meeting. I myself spoke, other neighbors, thanking everyone for what they did. The developer said that they would start removing buildings on the property the very next day. To date, nothing has happened. Um, the past few years, and again, I do realize it's because of our efforts, but we didn't want, we wanted breathing room, that this property isn't developed, but we have had a major, major mosquito problem. I'm contracted with Terminex. The county comes out often. Last year, they even came out, I think they said four or five in the morning, whatever it was, and they fogged the neighborhood. And then now they're starting up again, these mosquitoes. And I'm not exaggerating when you're smacking three, four at a time. That's how bad it is in our yard and my neighbor's yard. We believe, and, you know, we're not experts on uh, mosquitoes, but those chicken coops are still there, the shed buildings are still there, they're collapsed, roofs are, the roofs are caved in, in in areas. So we believe that's where the problem is, as well as the property being very overgrown. All those things that were cut down, there's all saplings and seedlings coming up. So we can't say it's an eyesore because you can't see it anymore because of the growth of vegetation. But the mosquitoes are a huge problem for us. I don't know what's up with the project, if they're gonna move forward, not move forward. The last I inquired was some time ago that the engineers couldn't agree about the storm water management system, and that was the holdup. But that was like a year, year and a half ago. So I ask all of you, I mean, of, of, of course, if you wanna revisit the park idea, that would be welcome. But if that's not a reality, please, if you get that property cleaned up, we really appreciate it, um, myself, and again, I didn't want to make a big to-do out of this and get all the neighbors to come. I'm not here to embarrass anyone like that. I'm just asking for help um, with the situation that we have. Thank you, Mr. Palmer, and a very good history lesson on the property. <laughs> I have to congratulate you on that. Thank you. Commissioner, do you have any plans going forward on that? I know they're, they're debating uh, on what they're going to do, but we do have property maintenance codes. So uh, I will have the, uh, one of the inspectors go out. I'll speak with the construction official tomorrow. We'll speak to the applicant. My, my, my mother's complaining. Well, everything's growing over her fence now. Me, the issue is the mosquitoes. That's our number one concern. And the mice, but. <laughs> yeah, you know what, and um, Commissioner Evans, if I may too, um, last week I meant to bring it to the board's attention that I saw something on, the, on one of the news channels, something in um, Long Island that, that I don't know if you, anybody else saw it, the government body actually passed an ordinance, and I know it has to be in conjunction with law, however they um, passed an ordinance 
really um, to give them the ability to really enforce and find these properties. And especially in this one town in Long Island, more than things like you're talking about, Greg, it was a lot of the commercial properties that were abandoned and bank owned and all that stuff. So I don't know if, um, Alan, if you could look into some what other communities are doing. But I, I have to tell you, having, having the store in town, people do complain a lot about these foreclosures in town and that we, we're not keeping up with them, you know, because we don't have the ability to. Uh, the, uh, it's a great question. The, we're tracking all of the foreclosed homes, about 30 of them, uh, and other properties in town, including the property on Franklin Avenue uh, next to uh, the little, little uh, coffee shop, the vacant land there. It's the old uh, Samara property, right? We, we track that one too. In fact, the, the town's cutting that grass uh, to, to do that. We hire, have the landscape come in. Um, and for each of those properties, we have to first identify the owner. And many of the owners are the banks and getting to the right person in the bank. And the reason for that is in order to be able to secure a lien on the property, you have to first make the attempt to notice them that they have to clean up the property if they don't. We did put in an ordinance that actually identifies properties where they now have to notify us when they're closing. So the newer records are easier to follow than some of the older ones because we now have things in force. And that that ordinance has a, uh, um, a minimum fee of $250 to register. But we're also enforcing the fines and we're bringing people to court. So uh, we are doing everything we can. The hard part is just that initial step getting access to who's the responsible party. And once you do that, you can do everything because we can get landscapers to go in and cut the grass and maintain it, including there's one property where we actually uh, had to board up the windows because of, uh, of an unsafe structure potential for kids to get into a building. So there's a lot that we have in force already, but always happy to take a harder look. If I could just add, what makes these mosquitoes a real problem they're not the mosquitoes of our childhood that would come out just as it was starting to get dark and they were like a light brown color, they moved real slow. I'm told these mosquitoes came over, not these specific ones, but this uh, strain breed of mosquitoes came over on ships from China and their black and charcoal striped bodies, real shiny, they're super fast and they're out day and night. So that's what's really making it a problem. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Mayor, if I might make a suggestion, perhaps the uh, the health department might also want to visit the site in conjunction with property. We have. We've, we've addressed this uh, issue several times over the years. Uh, as Mr. De Palma said, the county's come out several times and sprayed. We did pass it off and notify code enforcement some time ago, and they did. Code enforcement did follow up. And uh, I believe one of the issues is what Commissioner uh, Evan said, is getting down to who owns the property, et cetera. But it's been, and I know you know this, Mr. De Palma, the Health Department and, and Code Enforcement have been following this up. But uh, so, so now I guess we'll maybe try well, to push If the over. mosquitoes are what he says they are, and we have no reason not to believe Greg, he always tells the truth, all right, I would, I would double yeah, check we'll, that just, we'll, to, that's a good just point. to assure the safety of our residents. Yeah, that's a good point. We'll get the uh, county health department out there and maybe get one of those mosquitoes and examine them. Okay. And, and, and Commissioner Evans, the website, Sam Crow looked it up, is um, newsday.com, projects in Long Island. It's called Zombie Houses from the record. Anybody else would like to address the Board of Commissioners? Being none. Be before we adjourn, Mayor, I just um, just one other order of business tonight. I just got a text while I was sitting up here um, from our Chief um, Tommy Shrumla. Um, be very careful about um, these ATM machines. Um, he just sent me a notice that um, they just found the device and the ATM machine next to um, in PNC Bank next to Starbucks. So all of a sudden, this is becoming on our radar. It's a big thing. Before you stick your ATM card in the slot, make sure that it's not a fake slot and you're being scammed because all of a sudden, unfortunately, they were here in Notley as well, and this is our second or third time that um, we've been violated in this fashion. Thank you, Mayor. Motion to adjourn. Move it. Commissioner Rogers. 
Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Evans? We'll second Com that too. <laughs> Commissioner Petraco? Aye. Aye. Uh, um, aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you all.